of gear in Singapore. And this is the smallest fish among all the eagle owls in the world. Across your eyes to the first stack is over there, very talkative owl. This is Midnight or Malay Fish Owl, also known as the Bafi Fish Owl. This is also considered a medium sized owl and can also be found in Southeast Asia, such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and also here in Singapore. Do you believe me if I say owl is the most quietest raptors in the world? Who say yes? Who say no? No. Okay, we are going to prove it to you right now, but before that, pass your eyes to midnight right over there. Okay, did you guys hear anything besides that eh, screeching sound? I think, right, indeed, owl is the most quietest raptors in the world in flight because of the soft feathers and they can even hunt mouse in total darkness. A quick question, how many degrees can these owls rotate their heads? How many degrees? Uh, uh, okay, okay. 180, okay, 180, anyone else? Come on. 270, 180, 100, okay, 100, 180, 270, anyone else? 360, okay, 360, come on, any other answer? 720, who said that? Come on, guys! Actually, the correct answer is 270 degrees. You guys know why? Because these owls is not like us, humans. We can move our eyeballs, but they cannot do that. Their eyes like a tubular structures, so they can only look straight ahead. And in order to look for the surrounding, they need to turn their heads. And if these owls can turn their head 360 degrees, their head will fall down. One owl can eat up until 1,000 mice per year, usually by swallowing them whole. So the farmers around the world need this owl's help in order to control the rodents' population in the agricultural fields. And an owl also has three eyelids from many miles away. The largest of the hyena species is a spotted hyena and his name is Temba. They have a very powerful jaws, able to crush bones, including bones of an elephant. With their excellent digestive system, they are able to digest the entire prey. This includes the skin, teeth, bones, horns, and even their roots. Most of the people think that hyenas are part of the canine family. This is because of the dog-like features, but actually, they are more closely related to the cat. And speaking of cats, coming up on the grass sands of Africa will be our slender bill verbal. They feed mainly on rodents, reptiles, and even small birds. They resemble a miniature cheetahs, except for a relatively shorter tail. In a short while, we will be done by Charlie, who is going to show us how high Serval can jump in a while. Our slender built Serval. The Serval, they have a very long forepaws, which allows them to dig under a big burrows in order to catch their prey. And beside that, they also have a very powerful hind legs, which are longer than the front enabling them to lift up until 10 to 15 feet into the air. There's a low fire burn with the flow to take off. Nicely done over there, guys. How about a round of cash? for cash? It's playing a potion, everyone. Bye-bye. Take a good look at the black and white marking you done. Maggie! How is she a well done, well done. Good job, trainers and our volunteers also. 
Maggie here is our Burmese rock python all the way from the South Asia. And volunteers, remember, do not squeeze Maggie because Maggie can squeeze you back, okay? Alright, since we have everyone on stage, how about we ask the volunteers a few questions? Let's have a music. What is your name and where are you from? I'm from Venki and India. Your name? Venki. Venki all the way from India, everyone! Banky, have a feel of her, okay? Maggie, not Fiona, okay? Now tell me, is she smooth and dry or wet and slimy? She's smooth and dry. That's right. Many people have this misconception that snakes are very wet and slimy, but this is because of the natural gloss they have. Let's see. But actually, snakes are pretty smooth and dry. Ma'am, what is your name and where are you from? My name is Chloe. I'm from Taiwan. Chloe, all the way from Taiwan, everyone! Hi, hi. Let me go that side. And question for you is quite simple, ma'am. Take a good look at no, me the mouth over there. Oh, not too close. We haven't fit her yet. Alright, ma'am. How many times do you think the snake can open up their mouth compared to the size of the head? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10. Ma'am, this is a snake, not a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm going to give you an option. One time, two times, three times, or five times compared to the size of the head. Ten. <laughs> I said one, two, three, five. She said ten. Ma'am, the snake cannot swallow you because you're too big for her, alright? Since we have everyone on stage, how about we pose and we take a picture. So everyone take out your cameras 